Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Friday, January 28th. And we are gathered together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Our song for this morning is hymn number 491, Come Let Us Eat, and we will sing together the fourth verse together. <clears throat> Rise then to spread abroad God's mighty word. Rise then to spread abroad God's mighty word. Jesus risen will bring in the kingdom. Jesus risen will bring in the kingdom. <clears throat> Our quote for this morning comes from Common Prayer, a liturgy for ordinary radicals. Lord, kindle in my heart a flame of love to my neighbor, to my enemies, my friends, my kindred all. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 71, verses 1 through 6. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel, for you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from my birth. It was you who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. Our Old Testament reading comes from 2 Chronicles chapter 35, verses 20 through 27. After all this, when Josiah had set the temple in order, King Necho of Egypt went up to fight at Carchemish on the Euphrates, and Josiah went out against him. But Necho sent envoys to him, saying, What have I to do with you, king of Judah? I am not coming against you today, but against the house with which I am at war, and God has commanded me to hurry. See, supposing God, who is with me, so that he will not destroy you. But Josiah would not turn away from him, but disguised himself in order to fight with him. He did not listen to the words of Necho from the mouth of God, but joined the battle in the plain of Megiddo. The archers shot King Josiah, and the king said to his servants, Take me away, for I'm badly wounded. So his servants took him out of the chariot and carried him in his second chariot and brought him to Jerusalem. There he died and was buried in the tombs of his ancestors. All Judah and Jerusalem mourned for Josiah. Jeremiah also uttered a lament for Josiah, and all the singing men and singing women have spoken of Josiah in their laments to this day. They made these a custom in Israel. They are recorded in the laments. Now the rest of the acts of Josiah and his faithful deeds in accordance with what is written in the law of the Lord and his acts first and last are written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. Our New Testament reading comes from Acts chapter 19 verses 1 through 10. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the interior regions and came to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, No, we've not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, Into what then were you baptized? They answered, Into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve of them. He entered the synagogue and for three months spoke out boldly and argued persuasively about the kingdom of God. When some stubbornly refused to believe and spoke evil of the way before the congregation, he left them, taking the disciples with him, and argued daily in the lecture hall of Tyrannus. This continued for two years so that all the residents of Asia, both Jews and Greeks, heard the word of the Lord. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.